So if I am going to be doing King of the Platform in December, that means I got about six weeks left of off season, which means I'm going to start making some changes to set me up to go into the actual meat prep. The biggest one being that I'm going to start leading my main bench day with barbell work again, because if I'm going to be going into a meat prep, it's important to be strong and in shape with barbell pressing. But we're still going to close grips because that is going to build what I need building and we're still off season. So it's not going to get too crazy with specificity yet. And I think the most important thing for me during this phase in training is that number one, I don't do anything that an asshole would. And number two, I do my best to actually keep my head pressed against the bench pad so I can get rid of that shitty multiply habit finally. And I think the biggest thing I'm trying to address by running barbell work first instead of the machine press is it feels freaking weird to be going straight into barbell work without doing machine press beforehand. So if I'm gonna be going into meat prep, I need to get used to that. And at least what I'm telling myself is that it's gonna be just a matter of like learning to flip the switch sooner in the session again. So let's get the switch flipping here. And the 305 felt better than 275, so we'll see if we got a little more switch flipping left in the tank. And that was by far the best one yet, so we'll see if we can wake up a little more. Got 355 on, and the goal is definitely at least more than one. Yeah, good enough for the day. And I think like the biggest benefit of cutting when bench wasn't doing the hottest is that despite losing like 47 pounds now, bench doesn't feel all that much weaker than when I started to cut. So yay. Anyways, onto some reverse grip reps and I was feeling too lazy to strip it down to a plate. So we'll see if two plates feels feasible to start out with. That actually felt so much freaking better than the last time I ran reverse grip. So yay, once again. And 275 might be an adventurous jump, but we're not gonna get a bench back unless we're a little bit adventurous. Let's go. Yeah. Sick. And like if reverse grip feels that good right now as second press the day, that makes me very, very 
optimistic for when we return to some convention in a few weeks. And now it is time for that squeezy squeeze, flexi flex, bodybuilding type pectoralis working. I don't know what I was saying there. I might cut that out, but we'll see. And I really don't know what to expect with these being later in the session, but I mean, whatever, we'll just do our best with what we got. And I mean, like, it doesn't feel very strong, but remembering how not strong they felt last week, today might actually be a little bit better. One more set. Yeah, that's good enough for today too. And gonna run some incline tape press here. Gonna use this one as a bit of a feeler set. Probably gonna try to turn the next set into a Instagram reel because anytime I post something with a little bit of body English, the Instagram comments go wild and the reel blows up. Sorry for trying to be an influencer. But like in all seriousness, like even if Instagram hates these, and the sun's really in my eyes, so this kind of sucks, but even if Instagram hates stuff like this, like, I feel like I've gotten so much out of sloppy-ish tricep work for my bench that, I don't know, listening to the opinions of weak people isn't really worth it a lot of the time. Yeah, I will go up. Don't think the sun should be in my eyes here, so allow the Instagram reel ridiculousness to commence. And the internet gets pissed at me every time that I post these, but incline tape presses, we're gonna roll the dumbbells in, bend the elbows, touch them to the chest, we're gonna throw and spread up to lockout. And like, yeah, it does look a little bit stupid, but look at it, this spread and punch through is exactly what I need to build to have a better lockout on my raw bench. And that took like four takes to get the Instagram reel right, so I'll only show the one work set in the vlog. And after that ordeal of being a failing influencer, we're gonna be a little bit elbow tricep friendly on the orb pushdowns, just so I don't blow them up too much. Yeah, and that is very appropriate tricep work. Holy. More delts because delts are still small, but we're up 15 pounds from that pathetic showing Monday afternoon. And like, I'm aware that those are sloppier that I have been doing, but I figure that having one day a little bit less intentful and heavier mixed with a day that's more intentful and lighter should hopefully do me some at least kind of good. Okay, let's do our best to have a little more contraction. Now we have swing on this one. And we're back here on the little bench a little bit lighter dumbbells than the last time and i think the goal for that is to see if we can maintain more better range of motion throughout the set and that first one felt a little tight so we'll see if we can get better as we go Ooh, baby that's a big stretch and like stretch mediated hypertrophy benefits aside like the biggest reason that I'm doing these is so that I can get more stretch tolerance, more length tolerance, more elasticity 
into the old pectorals to make them more resilient towards handling a big, heavy bench press, which is really what I want to get out of these. There's the floor. Oh yeah. That's freaking gross. To the floor from the very beginning, see if we can keep it up. <laughs> I feel so freaking gross in the best way possible. Yeah, I like these. I'm very okay with it, but except for feeling like a stuck turtle, try to get up. <clears throat> and after the problems I was having on squats on Sunday, I was thinking like, I haven't been running the cable hip flexor races for a long while, and my intent was to do those today, but the cable machine has been busy for like 10 minutes, so I'm gonna see if I can run these on the hanging leg raise and not die. Yeah, the hardest thing is keeping the fucker on the foot. Yeah, everybody that's all obsessed with tip ant raises should do some of those. I think the problem with that last set is like, I was giving the dumbbell like more of a toe job than a foot job. So we're gonna try to keep it better situated this time around. I don't know if that feels better or not. It just still feels shitty. So we'll crank on the reps. That's hard enough for today. Well, tip ants are freaking work. And I guess, yeah, cats out of the bag official plan as of now which i think is the official plan king of the platform in december at 242 and i know that i said that the goal is to compete at 220 and the goal still is to get down to 220 but like at the rate that weight is coming off and how it is kind of trickling down and how i don't have a whole lot of food to pull out yet i think that if i do do a meet at 242 it's going to let me do a better job at adapting and still holding a lot of strength by the time we get 220 and it's also going to let me have a bit of a diet break put some calories back in so that making it all the way down to 220 won't be quite as extreme and i don't know maybe i'm just being a pansy with this but i think that it is going to be the smartest choice in the big picture to have a little bit of a intermediate step before going all the way down and building back up it'll kind of give me an idea of what i should be working on as the cut continues so i mean that's what we're doing and i am excited to get the job done anyways guys thank you so much for watching and if you need help with something specific search us the channel because there is probably an answer of some sort somewhere in here and if you want more specific help or a place where you can ask better questions and get good feedback from myself other lifters other coaches sign on to the team activated group on school really cool shit is happening in there i'm putting out a lot of higher level educational content on both the training and rehab side as well so don't miss out on that i'm gonna be bumping up prices here shortly so pop in before we hit the 50 member cap and we toss it up a little bit you'll be grandfathered in at the 19 dollars for life so no sweat on that front and if you need even more help book a consult we will be able to get your shit sorted peace out have a good rest of your day